Now look, it's not just all about motorbikes. There is, honestly, some work going on here. We've got the sails off and the stack pack, which we knackered on the way down here. That's away for repair. The new sails are being freighted in next week. The engines have been serviced, the dinghy's been cleaned, the whole of the standing rigging's replaced and ready for the South Atlantic. So, all in all, busy boy. First, we're going up north. Let's jump right in. So here we go. No party frocks, he says. We've now got the bags down to this amount for two or three weeks. And got a bit carried away with the filming on this and I've got about three hours of coverage. But we went north, Paternoster, Vredendal, up to Springbok. We then headed out to the coast, saw the coast, tempted to go to Namibia but no visas. So we headed inland to see the Ochrabi's waterfalls, then back south through the Cedarburg Mountains, a look around the vineyards and the old village of Tulba, and then back to the boat. Heading out of Cape Town, leave Table Mountain to starboard. It's all really just a trip between coffee shops. So we bashed up the R27 at full tilt and got ourselves to Roostercook land. Route 27 for some cup of tea on a rooster cook. And isn't it a bit weird that in the background is playing Freddy and the Dreamers. And that wasn't good even in 1960 twiddly, whatever it was. Further up the road we stopped at the Sand Community Centre, learned a bit about their culture and had an interesting bit of poetry in the native San clicking language. Uh, thank you, go. Bamba ti kwenye na sada ti to anamu sote ni akuzi a. Demi kato kete kuzi a. Kumu anzi ang a ti ata ni kumu amu kwenye na mama tui kati ka. Anje ka. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. If you want to learn more about the Khoi San clicking language. Have a look at South Africa's language spoken in 45 clicks on BBC Travel. Meanwhile, we're off up towards Paternoster through Langaban to spend the night there before pressing further north. This is Saldana Bay. It's largely an ore terminal, but we came here to have a look and see if there was going to be a future option for having the boat anti-fouled. So we stopped for breakfast. And look what we find, bread baked on site. South Africa is rich in mineral resources. This ore train has travelled 900 kilometres to Saldana Bay. Just massive. Slow, but massive. So now we're heading back out to the coast and down towards Paternoster, one of the oldest fishing villages on the west coast of South Africa. Oh wow, wow, this is beautiful. Oh, it's got a <laughs> This is Paternoster, we came here a couple of weeks ago. Couldn't see the hand in front of your face for the fog. And this is what we missed. Quite pretty looking. If you like white. Sand dunes, Paternoster, South Atlantic, that way, America. Wouldn't it be nice if we had a wee boat? And look, there's two of them there. Nice looking bay to anchor in, we might come back. And one thing about cruising the west coast of South Africa, whether by boat or motorcycle, is that if the wind swings to the north, it does the whole Paul McCartney, Mull of Kintyre, mist rolling in from the sea thing. So I'm glad we're not sailing out there, that's for sure. Or indeed biking in here. Good morning. 
it's the 19th of January and we're in Paternoster still. We had two nights here. A hot tub was put away for the night. And here we are having another excellent breakfast. It's hell. Okay. It's okay. They really, really are. Look, the reality is that when, when you get up, up here, uh -huh. yeah, it, it's hot. It's yes, hot. Yes. <laughs> well, we, don't think, we don't think we'll get any further than that. Yeah. So with some route planning advice and warnings of it going to get hot, 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 we headed out to Paternoster, heading further north. So kids, if you want to know where the salt comes from, it comes from Vledrif in South Africa, where they have giant salt pans drying out the ocean for you. So sightseeing over, back on the road, and guess what? It's time for another coffee stop. This is Lambert's Bay, or the approaches to, and by the time we got there, it was getting a little bit dark. This is where you really experience the might of the sea crashing onto the beach. You can see this coming, can't you? More than we did. Yikes! <laughs> <laughs> Where did that one come from? Well, that kind of blew up the sunset shot. So here we are at another wedding venue. It's a bit late for having a wedding, but maybe we could retake our vows, darling. Oh, yes, we could. I promise to always take in a reef the first time you mention it. you'll be pleased to know that's it this is part one of i think three we shot hours of video thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it come back for more <laughs>